Hey everyone, in this video we're going to discuss how to kosher utensils that are in the middle category, that is utensils like metal, wood, and plastic. So the rule in halakha is kebol'o kach polto. The way it was used, that's the same way it's going to spit out the chametz. So again, for simplicity, we're going to divide this into three categories. Category one are utensils that I used for cold chametz. That is, for example, uh, plastic containers that I stored in them pasta. These different items, all of these, the way to kosher them is very simple. Since it was used for cold, I kosher them in cold water. So I just have to rinse them out and they're fine. Category two are items that I used directly on a fire without any liquid in between. That would include things like the uh, grill pans, uh, skewers, the grates, all of these items that I used for chametz, I need to kosher them with libun. Uh, today, the only real form of libun that we have in the house is uh, putting them in a self-clean mode oven and letting them remain there the entire time. Obviously, one has to be very careful because the oven reaches very high temperatures. Not every type of utensil can handle that heat. So uh, reach out to your chemistry teacher from high school or whoever and find out if the utensil that you want to put in there would be able to handle that type of temperature. Then we have the third category. Uh, if, if they can't, then one has to put them away till after Pesach. Then we have the third category, which is majority of the items that we want to use in the house for Pesach, and that is items that were used on a fire um, very uh, with, with liquid in between or off the fire uh, without any liquid at all. So these would include all our pots and pans that we make soup, frying pans that we sometimes would spray uh, Pam or oil that we want to make eggs or things on like that on, uh, my, my cutlery, all my, my dishes, all these items that are metal, plastic, or wood. So the way to, to kosher them is with a method called Hag'ala. Hag'ala is uh, very simple. Hag'ala is taking a, a pot, boiling it with, with water, and when it reaches uh, boiling, to dip the item that I want to kosher in the boiling water. So for example, let's say I want to kosher this pot, I would boil water in here, and then I would dip this into the boiling water. Now Hagala can be done partially. That means I can do one half at a time. I could dip this half, and then I could spin it, I could rotate it, and I could dip the other half. The entire kli does not have to be in, in one shot. Unlike when I dip things in a mikveh, that has to be in at one shot. Not so when it comes to hagala. I can dip it this half and then turn it over and I could dip the other half. When I'm done dipping the item, I should then pour it and dip it in cold water. If the item um, can fit in one shot, great, then I should put it in one shot. And if it can't, if it's a very long ladle, things like that, then again, I could do the first half, then I could do the bottom half. As well, covers and lids uh, and handles need to also be dipped. So if I want to use this cover for Pesach, I have to kosher this as well. First, I should unscrew the, uh, the handles. You'll see how much, uh, you'll be surprised how much dirt is stuck in there. After unscrewing and cleaning well, then I do Hagalah, I dip, uh, again, this won't fit in one shot, so I can uh, rotate it and dip uh, and do Hagalah on each part by itself. When I'm done, dip it in cold water. How do I kosher this pot? the one that I used for the, all the other smaller ones. So the problem is that although I could boil water in here and kosher the bottom half of the pot, there will still remain the outer rim that never gets koshered. The, that's why the only way to kosher uh, a larger pot is to first put it on the fire, boil water in it, and when it reaches boiling, then to take a very hot piece of metal, it could be the discs that are on top of the stoves, I could boil these as well, and after, after these are very hot from the fire, be very careful, remove them, and then throw them into this boiling uh, pot of water. And then all of the water in here will overflow and they will kosher the rim of this larger pot. That is the way to go about koshering uh, this, this original pot that we're koshering everything else in. So again, just to recap, we have, uh, again, also all my cutlery, I throw in here my forks, my spoons, my knives, everything into the boiling water. That's the way to kosher the, uh, the category three. So again, to recap, three categories. Category one are items that are used for cold. The way to kosher them is to just rinse them in cold. Then we have things that are used on the fire without liquids. 
like my grill pan, like my uh, grates. The only way to kosher those is through libun, to put them in the fire directly in a self-clean mode oven. Then we have category three. Those are the things that I use on the fire with liquid, um, my pots, my spoons, my forks. All of these I can kosher with haga'ala, that is to dip them in a pot of boiling hot water. Have a good day.